work done in isothermal reversible expansion okay so now i will explain about work done in isothermal process and in this isothermal process here we take a reversible okay if it is a reversible process it takes place in several states and their expansion okay if in expansion the volume of gas is increases okay and you see here you take isothermal process if it is an isothermal process temperature can be present as constant okay so this process takes place at constant temperature okay so to explain about this first here i take a cylinder in the cylinder okay it is a cylinder in this cylinder i take an ideal gas the volume of ideal gas is v1 and initial pressure can be taken as p okay so on this gas here we applied external pressure by using a weightless frictionless piston so the pressure of the piston can be taken as p external okay so it is a external pressure when here expansion is takes place after expansion in the cylinder okay after expansion in the cylinder the volume of the gas is increases that the volume is v2 and here the pressure is p okay you see here actually it is initial now here expansion is takes place okay so up to this place here expansion of volume is takes place and here uh, displacement i taken as a dl and here area of cross section can be taken as a okay and now here p external is present it is a p external pressure okay you see like this here the change of pressure is takes place the change can be taken as dp okay so it is a uh, cylinder in the cylinder we take an ideal gas initial volume v1 pressure p it is internal pressure now by using friction we applied external pressure here expansion is takes place in the expansion volume of the gas increases from v1 to v2 and here the change of pressure is dp okay so here the displacement is dl and here area of cross section is a okay right now you see here we have to study about work done in expansion in expansion it is done by the system so here we write uh, work is done by the system okay so if it is work is done by the system w can be taken as negative okay because their expansion is takes place that's why work is done by the system on surroundings okay so w can be taken as negative for finding your work done okay for the finding work done here it is uh, work is force into displacement we take force into displacement okay so in place of force we take pressure into area of cross section here pressure is p external so p external into a and here displacement is dl okay this is the displacement okay right now you see here area of cross section into displacement that can be taken as change in volume that is delta v okay so for small changes we write uh, dw is equal to p external into delta v we take like this okay small work done p external into delta v but here you have to see work done by the system work done by the system means we take w as negative so w is equal to minus p external into delta v or we take for small changes we take here dv also okay in place of delta v for small changes we take dv p external into dv we take okay right now you see in this p external this p external it is uh, equal to external pressure is equal to from internal pressure by removing this dp it is equal to external pressure so we take p internal minus dp okay now this p external it is equal to p internal pressure minus dp but from this by removing this remaining is p external that's why p external is equal to p internal minus dp so in place of p external we write this minus p internal minus dp into dv we take okay on multiplication minus p internal dp minus into minus minus into minus plus dp into dv is present here dp into dv it is small changes so we neglect it so your work done it is equal to minus p internal into d okay right okay you see here we have to take for small changes so we write dw okay in place of w we take an as dw so here dw is equal to we take minus p internal into d okay but here internal pressure can be taken as p so in place of p internal we write p then this p 
P into D. Okay, so it is small work done. It is equal to minus P into dV. Your minus we take because your work is done by the system. Okay, and you see from ideal gas equation, if you take ideal gas equation, from ideal gas equation, P is equal to we take n R P by V. Okay, pressure P is equal to we take n R P by V. Okay, this we have to get from ideal gas equation. So in this equation, in place of P, we write n R P by V. Okay, so you see. By substituting n R P by V in place of P in that equation, we have to get work done in expansion. Okay, for an ideal gas. Okay, you see. In place of P, now I write this. So D W is equal to minus n R P d v by v okay we take like this and you see here n number of moles it is constant or it is uh, ideal gas constant it is also constant t okay you see it is in isothermal process now we applied isothermal process so your temperature also taken as constant temperature is constant if you take isothermal process in isothermal process temperature is constant so your overall volume change takes place from v1 to V2. So we take V1 to V2 on integration. This we write like this: integration of dW minus n R T. These are constant. So we write outside, and here we take V1 to V2, and here dV by V is present. Okay. Integration of dW means we take W minus n R T, and here dV by V integration we take as ln V, and here V1 V2. Okay, so first you apply the highest value that is V2. So work done. W is equal to minus n R P. Here we take like this ln V2 minus ln V1. Okay, we have to write like this. First you apply the highest value, next lowest value. So ln V2 minus ln V1. And you see it is A minus B form. So we write A by V. W is equal to minus n R P ln V2 by V1. Okay, in place of ln, if you have to apply the log. Then you write W is equal to minus 2.393 n R T log V2 by V1. This formula we have to take for finding work done in expansion of an ideal gas. Okay, so in expansion of an ideal gas for finding work done, the formula is minus 2.303 n R T log V2 by V1. Okay, and you see it is applied when volume change is given. Okay, so in the condition if pressure change is given. Then you have to take another equation. You see, and the relation between volume and pressure that are inversely proportional. According to Boyle's law, V proportional to one by P. So in place of V two by V one, we take P one by P two. Okay. So by applying pressure condition here, this equation we can write like this. W is equal to minus two point three nine three N R T log P one by P two. Okay. This is also an equation for finding. Work done in expansion. It is in volume change and it is in pressure change. Okay, these two formulas for finding work done in expansion. Okay, right. If it is asking in compression, for compression also same formulas we use, but the difference is in place of negative sign we use positive sign. So W is equal to 2.303 N R T log V2 by V1. Okay, this is the work done in compression of process. And in terms of pressure, we take W is equal to 2.303 N R T log P1 by P2. Okay, so it is in compression. So these are the formulas for finding work done in isothermal process, reversible process, expansion. These we have to use in compression. We can use these formulas. Okay, in expansion and compression, the difference is in expansion we take negative sign, in compression we use positive sign.